7 p.m. It's a Wednesday, and I feel a, a drop in my productivity since after dinner. And um, I was about to just call it a night, but uh, I think I wanna just push push through a little bit and do a bit more. So today, what I'm gonna do is to review um, the methods that are used by other researchers in evaluating their Bayesian neural networks. So uh, maybe just to give a bit of context. I don't know, maybe something to look at as well. So a Bayesian neural network is, I mean, if you know what a neural network is, and a Bayesian neural network is simply, um, you know, trying to learn the weights of the network in a Bayesian fashion, you know, which is to consider some type of distribution over the weights, and then uh, we can sample the weights, or we can, you know, it doesn't matter, we don't have to sample necessarily, but we can just, um, we can talk about the weights, we can make use of that information, uh, make use of the information of the distribution, and then uh, talk about the uncertainties of the, the neural network estimates, for example, and then things like that. So I guess it helps with, I don't know, like model averaging or you know, robustness and, and, and estimating variance, that kind of stuff. Okay, and the trouble that I have recently is that um, I haven't done a lot of uh, work on neural nets, on, on Bayesian neural nets, so when I'm now applying my sampler algorithm onto these um, neural networks, um, I, well, let me think, what's the best way to phrase it? Hmm. So in a sampler setting, it would be good usually, or rather it's important, to have your resulting samples uh, fulfill some type of you know checks to make sure that the, the results are sensible. So one of them being convergence. That means if your chain sam if your chain that you simulate does not converge, um, that means to say that it is not exploring fully the space in some sense um, that you're interested in. So if that's the case, then you can't really use your estimates for much. Well, because they do not represent, you know, they do not give a, a good representation of the posterior space or any, you know, any any space of, uh, you know, variable space for inference, whatever. So the but the thing is, it's particularly hard to do this for Bayesian neural networks. So I wanna, and what other people do is, you know, to settle for something usually a little weaker, right? You have, um, when I say weaker, I mean like the conditions which you know, um, which, uh, with which they qualify the results I guess to say that okay well look at this set of metrics and you know they look reasonably okay so the results are you know probably okay or, or at least they, they hold some water right um, so that's what I want to do is to look at what other people's done and the last time I'm on the stream I used licks which is this thing on the left here to take notes and um, surprisingly it's it's actually quite nice to use right um, the reason that I want to use licks for those who understand who use LaTeX for example um, the reason I want to use Lix and not LaTeX is because I don't want to have to have two separate uh, panels, right? We have the, the script and then like the, the the nice outputs. I want to just have something that works in front of me, um, which makes it easier to view as well and makes it easy for me to have two, you know, one to read and one to write. So the goal for today, maybe we should write down the goal for today. Um, so let me see if I remember what. So title. Um, uh, uh, evaluating Bayesian neural networks, a review. <laughs> I don't have to write that, of course. Uh, section. Hmm, okay. Oops. Okay, so let's start. So what I'm going to do is I'm about to um, just Google some of the, uh, well, uh, embarrassingly, I don't really know necessarily the top, you know, 20, pa 20, 50 papers that people read about this. I know a couple, but probably is not the full picture. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And my goal, oh, I, I got distracted. My goal is to survey methods used by other researchers. Uh to evaluate um, their Bayesian neural networks. It has to be a, I'm just gonna call it BNN. 
Oh well, I don't want to have it in the title. I don't know. Um, okay, so we've surveyed the different methods. Um, wait. Okay, cool. And um, what else? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe kind of familiarize. Oops. With the network architectures and data sets. Oh, uh, oh well. And problem data sets. Okay, I guess familiar with, with, with the kind of um, experimental settings, experimental setups, I guess. So this includes the um, the network architecture, data set, problem size, and um, kind of the scale. Like I don't know, like how long it, you know, how long the whole thing is taking, right? How much? How many? Like million samples, ten million samples, you know. Problem size and I guess, uh, yeah. Okay, I, I think I get the idea. Okay, so get used to the way they. Um, what else? I don't expect this to take very long. By the way, maybe like an hour, an hour and a half max. And I want to read maybe like the top twenty papers around there. Maybe more, depending on you know if they're all good. I'll, I'll read whatever necessary so um, what else is my goal maybe or, or rather maybe no interesting ways to present results Okay, maybe that's about it. Something like that. Okay, so I can go to um, Google Scholar for this. If you think that, you know, maybe researchers have very fancy way of looking up papers, mm, uh, not for me. I mean, there's Archive and then there's Google Scholar and just Googling around. And uh, yeah. So the reason I'm going for archive and I mean Google Scholar and not archive is so that I can see roughly, you know, like the, the, the citations and you know, not to say citation is everything, but um, you kind of get a good sense of what other people are reading. If that's what most people read, then I guess it makes sense to be familiar with them anyway. Um, that is not to say researchers are not wrong. A lot of the things out there apparently are, you know, they, you know, they are people, they contain mistakes as well, so it works. Um, okay. So, okay, so I, is this, um, how do I sort this, sort by relevant, okay, uh, oh, 1998, jeez, wait, let me, I don't think you guys can see this, right, 1998, 1989, <laughs> oh my god, oh, wow, hmm, uh, hmm. Do I really want to go down this path? Because there seems to be a lot on. Okay, this paper I know. Hmm. If I do MCMC with it, what would it look like? Okay, let me just do a bunch, right? There's no point talking too much, really. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me just open this one up. This one, this one, this one, this one, I don't know. Sure. Uh, yeah, just gonna open all of them. Bayesian learning for neural networks. Hmm. Um, okay, I guess you know the point is to skim through them really fast, and even if they are not good or not relevant, I should I should be able to find out 
with relative ease. Or at least that's what I hope. Let's look at HMC maybe. Okay. Okay. These are all looking quite good. Oh yeah, I read this paper too actually. Um okay. Ooh, based in dark knowledge. Yo, this is cited so many times. Okay. Okay, I think that's a good place. That's a good start for now. We have about 20 tabs around there. All right, let's go. Let's just jump right into it. And I guess I'll just put the link, right? Oh, is there a better way to do this on licks? Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Okay. PDF. No, 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 PDF. What? Can I? Oh, okay. Fine, I'll download it. Okay, yeah, I think this paper should be quite good. It's by all the, you know, this is famous people here. Uh, Christoph Andrew, Nando Fritas, Anu Dose, and Michael Jordan. Yeah, these are like, I don't know, these, <laughs> these are pretty big names. Okay. Um, let's just, wait, let's just, oops, what did I just do? this song it's nice uh, reversible jump typical is any estimated number of neurons uh, okay well this is looking a little bit harder than I imagine so there's no Bayesian neuron Bayesian networks Isn't. Uh, hmm. <coughs> okay, then I guess we can move on. Let's just move this to the left. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess we can just quickly read the the the, the abstract as well, right? Uh huh. So what's the... Oh. Okay. So qualitative results, blah, blah, blah. Quantitative results. Here we go. Here we go. Uh... Maximum unnormalized posterior. Maximum unnormalized posterior. Maximal unnormalized. What the hell is that? <laughs> what? Yikes. Okay, this turns out it could take longer than I imagined, I guess. I have severely uh, underestimated. Well, maybe overestimated myself, I should say. What? Maximal posterior value of the uninformed sampler. What? The, okay, so is it trying to say that that this is convergence? Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you see, the results highlight the superiority of our approach o over an uninformed sampler in terms of exploring the maxima of the posture within a fixed frame of samples. Hmm. 
Uh, an extensive wait, but what method actually are they using? I don't even know. <laughs> Sampling. We use Bayesian neural network for estimating image dependent proposal distribution compared to a standard Gaussian walk. This will accelerate. In this way, we what? How to choose the proposal so then maximum time explore Okay. Okay, I, I guess. <coughs> oh, what's this? What that? Just copy paste. Does it work? Hey. Uh oh, Kortiluski. Problem. Problem is to do with facial recognition. Okay, I guess you can tell from uh, from from the from the title. What's this p value? Oh. Within a fixed frame of sample. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, the metric is the metric used here is um how do I make a point? So the metric here is ability for sampler to explore posterior maxima within fixed number of samples and then the presentation uh, What's a Friedman test? Differences Okay, I can't be bothered to learn it now, but Reaches the maximum af already after <coughs> After 3.5k sample Reaches Form sampler explores faster. Uh, ooh. Uh, 
which sampler reaches uh, maxima the fastest. Whatever, what the hell is a Friedman test? Ranked Friedman test and obtain p value. p value of ranked Friedman test versus samples. Okay. I guess we can keep the link. Why not? Can I? How do I insert the um, link? Hyperlink target. Okay. Oh, I can. Can I make this into a hyperlink? Don't want to be so extra. Okay, I think I just put the link there. <laughs> okay. Okay, one down. Let's go. <laughs> This has to be important, right? On MCMC sampling in Bayesian neural networks. This, please be a short paper. Yes, six pages. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Archivatory, Vitari. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, and someone knows this. Um, but yeah, the 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 the. Yes, Finland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, starting value. Actually, this paper is probably important. Seems like a. Like a grandfather paper for all these things, one of one of the OG papers. Um, is there a way to add sections? Wait up. Uh, shortcut licks add section. Come on, there has to be a shortcut, right? Um section? No, nothing. Wow. Can I define one myself? I mean, I'm sure I can, but... Okay, let's go. So it goes uh, tools, preferences, and then you go... What is it? Editing? Shortcuts, there we go. Nice. Uh, 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 text classes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sub layout subsection alt. <laughs> layout wait wait layout section. Alt p times two. What? Alt p p. What the hell's alt p times two? Oh! Okay, so you don't. Okay. It works. Alright, alright, right, right, right. Wait. But I want it to be not numbered though. Oh, piece. What? What is star 2? Am I. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, P. Star 2. Wait. Oh, P. Star two. Wait, there has to be a better way, right? This is super ridiculous. Well, let's try another method. Let's try another method. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. The heck. How do I? <coughs> What's the enable scrolling? Uh, wait, 
Wait, why can't I scroll beyond? <clears throat> I thought I could. Wait a second. This is annoying me. Uh. Well, anyway, so it's Alt P. Dude, I'm gonna change this, man. This is so ridiculous. Can I make it better? Uh, text classes, yeah. Can I modify this? Um, well, I'm gonna add a section, right? Can I do Alt S? Is that gonna clash? It's already bounded to. Fine. How about. Alt FS. No, 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 no. Okay, all that's all that's. Apply. Sick. So I can go. So now. Ah, uh, this you can't see because I can't scroll. Okay. Yeah, I can type, type, type. Oops. And then I go Alt SS Boom Title Okay now let me wait <laughs> let me look for how to add a point uh, like a list layout list alt P Ah uh, can I Alt L L apply so now I can go wait. Okay. Eh? List no. Wait a second. Oh no, itemize shoot. I, I destroyed something. Ah Okay well itemize uh Layout itemize Alt P I. Why is it all the Alt P? There's probably a good reason, and I'm probably messing it up. But I'm just gonna do some whatever I want here. Sick. Sick. Okay, let's get back to where we were. Um. So this is Akibetari. Uh. How old is this paper? 2000, well. Alright. Okay. Starting values. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, actually, I read this paper a long time ago. And it's a very, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a intro and it's a good intro paper as well. Yeah, actually I've kind of tried all of these methods, you know, to set your starting parameters to zero, to set your to set it to the prior mean, to just draw draw it from a prior, um, to draw it from a map estimate and then or use a proximate prior. Yeah. Okay. Early stopping number of chains experiment. There we go. Iterations, okay. Problem. <coughs> or something, I don't know. <laughs> Problem. Um. Testing early stopping for electrical impedance tomography. Uh, 
Okay. Wait, what is early stopping again? In early stopping, weights are initialized to very small values. Part of the training data is used to train, and then the other part is used to monitor the validation. Iterative optimization used for minimizing the training error. Then, with small weights, it's almost linear, and non linearity increases during. Wait. MLP with small weights is almost linear, and non linearity increases during optimization. Training is stopped when the validation error begins to increase and the weights with minimum validation error. I see. Okay. So early stopping. Uh, stop. Wait. Train with. How do I put it? Train with train set. Uh, stop when validation error goes up. Use weights with smallest uh, validation error, I think. I mean, that's what I'm getting here. Uh, something like this. <coughs> When the validation error begins to increase and the weights with minimum validation error are selected. Oh, okay, I mean, it makes sense. <coughs> okay. Oh, by the way, what was the... What was the network just now? Can I... <coughs> AlexNet Okay, as an informed proposal distribution. Oh my god, this song is way too happy for for the mood right now. Oh my god, this is gonna say stay chill.
when plotting the maximum possible run over 10,000 samples. Isn't AlexNet very big? Yeah, I mean, okay, it's big. Length the number of chains were used decided using visual reduction, potential scale reduction methods. Okay. Oh my god, why is everyone singing? Okay, good. Don't sing, please. Okay, technically I'm not necessarily looking for Bayesian neural network um, Actually I'm mistaken, I shouldn't be looking for this necessarily I'm not looking for Bayesian neural network performance I'm more looking for efficiency between different types of networks Different, uh, different types of uh, sampler for example But okay, let, let me just see Five cents were wrong Okay, let's just look at some graphs and Okay, I'm already convinced that I'm doing something wrong because my network takes like days to run and it's, uh, it's not even big and this is already bigger than what I have. So this network is, yeah, it's really taller. So, um, what's this? I don't understand. Well,
Okay, cool. <clears throat> okay, cool. We keep on going. <coughs> This looks looks good, I guess. So this is a stochastic gradient. Uh, so technically, it's not exact, uh, not the exact posterior, but it doesn't matter. KL divergence. Ah. Sampler's bias measured by KL divergence. Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe metric is enough. Learning curve. the problem here
Wait a second. I'm gonna call them neurons. Units. Call them units. is trained trained on okay I don't really follow the details of the experiment but okay I don't think this is super important Okay, let's keep on going. Particle physics. All right, I'm I'm in. Oh, come on. Chapter online $50. Look at this ridiculous shit. So I want to read a paper and I'll pay 50 sing dollars to read one what one chapter is a book dude this is <laughs> okay it's a book <laughs> oh my god this is so ridiculous can i read it for free nah screw this i don't want to read a book though Okay. Okay, 
Okay, it's coming up to an hour. I guess I started about maybe 15 minutes in. So one, two, three. I'm, um, wait, one, wait, one, two, three. I just done with three papers. Okay, we gotta go much more than this. Okay, so these are oh these are good people, right? Andrew Gordon Wilson. Okay, the posterior over neural networks, blah blah blah. We develop cyclic stochastic gradient MCMC. Whoa. To automate, explore cyclical step size schedules. Okay. So I guess this is interesting. <clears throat> So this is the schedule that they're looking at, I guess. Uh, that's nice. Uh, preliminary. Okay. Okay. Warm restarts. Theory. Experiment. Okay, so this is for uh, multimodal stuff, right? Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> what is it? What is the paper? Okay, cyclical stochastic gradient MCMC for Bayesian deep learning. Jong et al. Um, okay, so uh, let's move past the theory. Okay, so they're doing multimodal stuff. Wait, 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 wait. So, the okay, wait. Yeah, yeah, this one. Uh, okay. CIFA 10 and CIFA 100. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm interested in. Okay, MDS visualization in weight space shows I don't know what MDS is but mean something squared mean deviation squared I don't know okay let's read this part uh, test error mixing coefficient number of cycles test error okay oh maybe I should also write the the baselines that they compare huh Stochastic gradient, HMC, stochastic gradient. <clears throat> uh, set up uh, baselines, SGLD, SGHMC, HMC. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Wait, let me read carefully. Diversity in predictions. Oh wow, okay, hold on. Wait, but I guess first let me check out what the hell is MDS. Multi by multi dimensional scaling. That's a thing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta read this a little bit closer. Oh man. Uh Okay. Do they see what net they use? Image net. Oh, 
okay Actually this paper is very very good Oh and it's re rather recent It's just last year Um Hmm Oops, little typo. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, ResNet eighteen. Report test error. <coughs> Should I say presentation or results? Metric, right? Uh, test error averaged over three runs. Yeah, with uh, yeah with standard error. Blah blah blah. <coughs> so test error. This multi-dimensional scaling, I don't think it applies to me. Diversity in weight space is what I'm interested in. Um, uh, between the weight of samples. We see that from four clusters, which means they are from four different modes in weight space. Okay. However, can we see that? One, two, three, four, five. What? However, SGMC, SGHMC, and uh, and SLGD, they are stuck in one mode. Is that what you're saying? However, all samples of SGMC only come from one cluster. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, um, that's interesting. So, they present uh, mode exploration. Hmm. This is a little bit interesting. But what's. It's a Euclidean between weights of samples. Between the weight of samples. The weight of samples? The weight of the sample? What? Okay, but the point is, uh, more exploration. Uh, something like that. Okay, good enough. Good enough that if I need it, I can come back to it. Okay, this one is important. Um, <coughs> what? This is completely their own thing. If the samples are from the same mode, the test error will be relatively smooth. If the samples are from different modes, the test error will have a spike. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Okay. So I guess this is also looking at mode exploration. This is interesting. Figure three. Uh, so we we want to see spikes, right? Oh wow.
Oh, this is interesting. Interpolating samples from. Oh, I don't really know how to phrase it in this, in the context of this paper. From different what to say cycles, from neighboring chains. Interpolating. We compute the test around the convex combination of the two samples. Via test error on the convex combination of two samples, if the samples are from are from the same mode, the test error will look smooth. I guess. Uh, well, maybe I should write <coughs> That's an interesting way to look at it I, I, that's an, Actually, that's good Because even though I, I will not use this, I guess But Like it yeah, I guess it. I guess it. Kit, it uh, I guess it gets me thinking about ways that I can um, design reasonable ways to evaluate the the network performance. Okay. Ah, uncertainty evaluation. They also compare. Uh, So you want high entropy or you want low entropy? Wait, hold on. Uncertainty estimates from C and are better than others since the probability of a low entropy prediction is overall lower. The probability of a low entropy prediction is overall low. This is a little bit confusing for me. The probability of a low entropy prediction. What's a low entropy prediction? Ah, okay. That means you wanna you 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 want a high entropy prediction, right? You want your prediction to be to be in. I don't know. Wait, low entropy means certainty. No, no, no. What am I talking about? Oh my god. Hey, why did the music stop? <sighs> okay, let me never mind just write it out first. Uh they measure <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> CDF
<coughs> Ideally, the predictive distribution of the trade model should be uniform over the not NIST, not MNIST the digits, which gives maximum entropy. This is... wow. Okay. Ah, so this is testing the training. So... Okay, this is in interesting. Because this is talking about... Hmm... Well, okay, this is... This is talking about... The training... Okay, this is not talking about... Mm, mm. Okay, I don't think this paper is very relevant. Even though it's actually quite... Quite, you know, convincing. And interesting, actually. So... So basically, it's better to you to train using genetic programming, and I guess genetic programming is when you um, kind of see which one is better, then you just use the kind of is it like a evolution type of idea? Yeah, mutation and crossover. Oh, this is cool. Okay, but I don't think it's relevant to me. Let's keep it going. Movement using Bayesian learning on the right now. Okay, so this is about training. Yeah, I don't think this is relevant. This is adversarial distillation. Okay. So this is using again to directly learn. It's kind of interesting.
Okay, I don't think this is super relevant to what I'm doing on. Yeah, so they are reporting accuracy and uh, anomaly detection. I don't think it's... I think I actually read this paper, right? Amortized inference. Approximate inference with amortized. Uh, is it where the the likelihood... They do something to the likelihood term. I forgot what it was. Amortized likelihood? Okay, I think that was what I read, right? Amortized likelihood. Yeah, whatever. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Yep. Come on, come on, load, 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 load. Faster. Quality of under. Oh, this is good. Th this has. This is exactly what I want. <laughs> Uh, didn't I just? Oh. Okay. Oopsie daisy. S applied soft computing. Ooh. What does that mean? Short term load forecasting using Bayesian neural networks learned by Hybrid Monte Carlo. Okay, blah blah blah. Ooh. Short term. Ah, uh, okay, I see. So Okay, I don't think this is relevant, but I'm just gonna put it in because I guess there's no reason to waste what I just read. Yeah, then I should have done that for the paper just now. Bah. The inconsistency in my brain. Uh I guess I guess the point is uh HMC does better than Laplace approximation for BMN in this application. Reports Okay, let me try to go back to that paper just now. Okay, this one... This one I don't really understand, so I'm not gonna read it. Uh, yes. I guess this one looked at learning rate, right? Something like, um, what do you call? Uh, yeah, prediction error.
Hmm. Oh, this is very yeah, this is how we do it. The hell is this? <laughs> Wait, what's that line? Oh no. Oh, is this a bug? Jeez. No. Why do I even save this file yet? Jeez. Uh, let's call it. Let's call it BNN. Wait, did he explain uh, KSD? Just KL? Hmm. Hmm, okay. So, why is my computer lagging? Not good. Uh, so, problem UCI binary classification uh, setup. MLP one oh, I mean one layer fifty units With hundred particles, what does it mean? So like a hundred chains? Or hundred samples? <coughs> Wait, where do I see this? Table one. <clears throat> okay. So we have Australian, breast, colon, crabs, ionosphere, pima, sonar. These are all Okay. And then they also plot uh uh average test log likelihood and test error uh versus time. Hmm. This is, yeah, I just discussed in my supervisor today and it's always a bit confusing for me at least that uh, if you're looking for, well, okay, in this case it makes sense I suppose because you're looking for how accurate things are. Hmm. Why, why is there suddenly image? Oh, deep generative models. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that. How long did were they trained for? My life hundred particles. What does that mean? Is that like a Oh what? Ten sample. What? Wait, what? Ten samples? What? 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 Yeah. Well, comparison with the mean field Gaussian approximation trained by VI with 10 samples and model of 100 particles simulated and stored. What does... What does that mean? 
mean field Gaussian approximation with 10 samples? What does that mean? Oh, you... Oh, okay. <clears throat> How does this make any sense? <laughs> Wait, maybe I'm... Okay, maybe I'm reading this wrong, but okay. Oh wait, I, I think I heard of these people, right? Okay, let's keep it going. Okay. Okay, so this paper I'm, I'm excited because I think that's what exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, let me load up a couple ones for later. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, is this a physics one? Yeah. Yeah. Militarized interstate dispute. Yo. Wait, what? <laughs> Assessing different Bayesian neural network models for militarized interstate dispute. Oh, it's Marwala again. Okay, this looks intense. Let's let's do it. Why not? Okay, let's go. Mm. Wait, isn't Pan Wei Wei? Wait, is this Pan Wei Wei from. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I got it wrong. Or is that a Fei Fei? That's a Fei Fei? Is it Fei Fei Li Fei Fei? Oh, yeah, I was thinking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yes. Okay, yeah, Stanford. Yeah, I was thinking of Li Fei Fei, not Pan Wei Wei. Is it? Well, okay, well. There's an honest mistake, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm just confused. Uh, okay. Oh, what? This is cool. Look at this, look at what this paper is saying. So, okay, Bayesian neural networks place priors over parameters. Okay, Inter inference is difficult because are approximate. I mean, I guess. We empirically compare the quality of predictive uncertainty estimates. So you're not just looking at the, the, the predictions. You're looking at the uncertainty estimates for 10 common in inference methods on both regression and classification tasks. Our experiments demonstrate that commonly used metrics like test slot likelihood can be misleading. Okay. Uh, inference innovation is designed to capture structure in a posterior do not necessarily reproduce high probability. <laughs> oh wow, so this is saying that if you try to understand the posterior shape, doesn't mean you get better approximations. Okay. I hope you're right. I mean I don't well I don't know. I hope I learned something basically. Okay, let's go. What data are you using, my friend? Univariate regression and two-dimensional binary classification so that the ground truth can be visualized. Okay. Um, for each task, we consider two synthetic data sets. Okay. In one of these data sets, the a priori model uncertainty will be higher than the variation in the data warrants. Than the data, higher than the variation in the data warrants. The upper model uncertainty will be higher than the variation in the data warrants. Okay. Whereas in the other the data we match the upper model. Data generation details A. Okay, so you got some basic so this is a toy problem basically, right? Um Okay. We use HMC to construct ground truth posterior. We run HMC 50K. Okay, let me start writing things down. So this is a, a compass inference methods for BNN a problem 1D and 2D. <coughs> 1D regression is it? 
1D regression and 2D binary classification. Okay. For ease of visualization. Baseline is HMC 450k samples. What? Wait, hold up. Wow. Yeah, a whole bunch. <laughs> okay. Set up. Uh. Damn it, there's a B. Oh my god, it's a huge one. What did I get in? Oh my. Wait, seriously, how did it get in? Deal with it later. <laughs> Two layer. Okay, but this is the fidelity of the posterior approximations. I guess. But we need a ground truth, right? But here we don't have a ground truth. That's the problem, right? 95%. Yeah, we can use the fact. Hmm. Okay, this is a little bit harder to read than I thought. Prediction exactly what I'm looking for <sighs> because this is talking about posterior approximation whereas I I'm not approximating anything here necessarily I'm looking for mixing hmm.
this is for <coughs> I guess I could just write it down anyway. So we got RMSC log likelihood PCIP PICP the something and then MWPI whatever that is. What is MWPI? Oh my god! Ah, it's all stuck in the light. Damn it! Oh shoot! It's quite loud, huh? I'm just gonna hope that it casually flies out and if it doesn't then um, yeah I'm gonna have a fun night okay yeah it's not super relevant to me this one okay this looks crazy yo Sounded like oh, uh, okay, it's there. Ah, <sighs> I wanted to turn off the lights, but I realized if I turn off the lights, the only light will be on my laptop, and then that might probably draw it. And we don't want that, do we? Okay, these people, I don't think it's relevant. Uh. This is the Kardianakis paper. Kardianakis. Okay, so this is more like about learning. Hmm. Ah, I'm getting tired. No, this is about GPUs. Ooh, this one. Ooh. This is about learning based in your network. It's not necessarily about... Uh, it's a little bit frustrating, but... What to do? Uh, Boston housing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is about... Uh, this, is, this is just called Bayesian Neural Networks. <laughs> okay, this paper is highly cited, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not super relevant. Yeah, this is talking about distilling MCNC and then probably talking about like how far it is for the approximation. Misclassification rate, yeah, it's, yeah. I think we're almost done actually, but I don't have too much useful information actually. Or maybe I'm not looking at the right places. I think that's what it is. I'm not looking at the right places. Hmm. MCNC, um, mixing. Bayesian neural network. Oh my goodness. It's oh, it's out. Oh. Oh my god, it's probably gonna just jam into my face at some point. P.
what? Hmm. Or oh, how do people compare? Okay, maybe uh, let's look at this angle, right? So we look for papers that talk about sampler comparisons and then some of them probably apply to uh, Bayesian neural networks. Oh my goodness. Is there anything I can do about it? Hmm. Turn off the lights, maybe. I hope it doesn't go for the, the, the bright ass monitor. <laughs> Well, if it does, at least I can catch it somehow. I see it, but it's not moving. Mm. Damn it, how am I supposed to see it like this? And my box spray is out. Damn it. What to do? Okay, it's coming out slowly. God damn it. Why does it go to the light? Is it because it's bright or is it because it's warm? Or maybe there's like some magnetic field thing. Like electric electricity stuff. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's continue. No reason to stop, really. Okay. So this paper is the one that, you know, the big paper, right? Uh, okay. Oh, sneaky, make me download it, okay. You good? Uh, this is... I just, I just read this the other day, right? Didn't I? Oh my god! It touched my head. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's on. Ah. Uh, okay, stay calm. Oh. Uh, holy shit. What the hell is it? Ah. I need a thing to catch it. Hmm. Maybe some paper? Maybe like a container or something. Uh, what the heck just happened, yo? Oh my god. I think I have a bowl. Okay. Let's... Let's find a freaking bee. Where the hell is it? Did it leave? Oh no, it's, it's at my bottle. Hmm. Hmm. What the hell is it doing? Damn it. Very fun that this is on stream, huh? 
Oh my god. Uh, how do I do with this? Let me see. Okay, let's stay calm. Panicking doesn't help, so let's just stay calm. Okay, I'm gonna try to put my. Oh, but it's just gonna come back, isn't it? Okay, I need to find a place where I can. Ah. Oh, no, it's back into the light. Okay, so it's drawn to the light. At least we learned something today. Why specifically? I don't know. Probably it's just what it sees. Where is it? Oh, it's on my cart. <laughs> okay, let's try to cover it. See if that works. Oh, oh, nope. Nope, it's back in the light. need to This stream is about dealing with a bee in the room. I'm gonna kill it though, that's cool. Why is it walking around? I'm just trying to. Wait, there's another sound. What? Two bees? No. Oh shoot, it's definitely something, but it sounds small. get back to my work but this is this is annoying it's kind of pretty oh it's a butterfly it's gonna fly let me close it up circles such life such a wonderful life just walking around in circles like most of us is it coming is it trying to come out or what it looks pretty much content I saw something on my... What the hell is that? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Is it coming out? Is 
something. I'm trying to sting my bit or something. Uh, alright, I'm gonna stop the stream and continue later on.